In addition, another development over the past two days has been conversations that I have been invited to participate in with school leaders from across the province. I have heard clearly from them that the guidance provided by health is proving extremely difficult to put into practice at the front lines due to product shortages, challenges with staffing and other operational issues. I have repeatedly said that we will monitor the situation, assess the emerging evidence and make decisions accordingly. Based on what we've seen over the last two days, it is clear to me that now is the time for additional action. We need to put in place more restrictions to help slow the virus and protect public health. That is why, effective immediately, the Emergency Management Cabinet Committee has approved my recommendation that students no longer attend classes in schools or post-secondary institutions until further notice. All regularly scheduled classes are cancelled regardless of class size. We are also asking all licensed childcare facilities and out-of-school care programs to close immediately. Approved day homes are exempt due to the small number of children they care for, but they are encouraged to use sanitation practices and the guidance that we released late last week. As a parent with children in the school system and in after-school care programs, I recognize that this is extremely disruptive for many, many families and for those working in these sectors. This is not a decision that we are making lightly. I made this recommendation after extensive discussion with school boards and in consideration of the cases of community transmission that were identified over the weekend. To be clear, we are not closing schools. Teachers and other school staff should continue to come to their schools to plan potential alternatives for students, particularly those in grade 12. I ask parents to keep their children from gathering in large groups as the purpose of this recommendation is to prevent the spread of the virus. I know that many parents, childcare work workers and teachers will have a lot of questions. This decision was made only a few hours ago, so many details are being confirmed. We will provide answers and make sure that Albertans get the information they need.